Keyvis is a free and open source software that can be used to visualize your keystrokes in real time. To get started, you can download the latest version of Keyvis from the GitHub releases page, download the file, unzip the file, run the installer, and follow the familiar steps to install Keyvis. And there you have it. You can start visualizing your keystrokes by just running Keyvis like this. You can visualize the letters, shortcuts, numbers, arrows, function keys, and even numpad keys. You can see the visualization animated in and out like this. And there is also a subtle animation for key press. That is, press a key and then release it. Or press a key multiple times like this. Things are all right as it is, but you can customize the visualization further from the settings window. To open the same, navigate to the right side of the taskbar, then find the Kiwis icon, which may be inside the hidden icons. For convenience, you can bring it out like this by just dragging the icon out to the taskbar. Now click on the icon and choose settings from the menu. This will open the settings window. In the settings window, you can customize the visualization style, appearance, and the other general settings. Let's start with the general settings. The first one is the hotkey filter. When enabled, it will filter out the other keys and only display shortcuts. Currently, every key press is visualized whether it's a letter or a shortcut. But if I turn the hotkey filter on, only the hotkeys will be displayed. The next one is the shift symbol setting. By default, you will find it enabled. And what it does is if you press shift plus any symbol key, it displays the symbol like this. If you don't need it, then you can disable the same. The last one is the replace key setting, which does what it sounds. If you press a key and then press another key, the previous one gets replaced with the new one. If you don't want this behavior, then turn this off and the keys will be appended instead like this. Let's move on to the next tab that is style. Here you can stylize the look of the visualization. You can change the base style that is isometric that gives more of a 3D feel or solid for those who want a minimal design with just a solid background and text. You can also change the size of the visualization depending on your screen, smaller for small screens and larger for large screens. You can change the color theme as well, one for the normal keys and the other for the modifier keys like the control and the shift. You can also change the border color for a nice contrast between your background and the visualization. But if you don't want that, you can remove the border by selecting transparent as the border color. You can also display icons and symbols on the keys to add some visual elements. But if you don't like that, just turn them off. Moving on to the last tab, that is the appearance tab. Here you can change the alignment or the position of the visualization from the bottom. That is, it can be the bottom left, bottom center, or the bottom right. You can also adjust the margin or the spacing between the screen and the visualization. You can also set the duration in seconds for which the visualization stays on the screen before animating out. If your video presentation is compact, then you can keep the numbers low, else it's always better to keep them on the screen for at least 6 seconds. Finally, you can choose from different animation presets to animate the visualization in and out. But again, you have the option to use no animation as well, with none as the animation. That concludes all the settings you can configure on your visualizations. To save your settings, you can click on the cross over here and choose save. The visualization appears with all the changes you have made. Now the visualization starts as soon as you run the application, but what if you want to pause it for some time? For this, you can click on the keyviz icon and select turn it off. Now you can see that there is no visualization even if we press any key. To turn it back on, just press on the keyviz icon and select turn it on and the visualization will be back. Finally, to close the application, click on the keyviz icon again and press quit.